What game is a mod that allows you to play it completely random every time? What decades old games still get annual updates? Here are 10 ROM hacks for NES and Super NES games that are every bit as good as the games they've hacked. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 10. Mario Kart R, a constant for every Nintendo console and handheld since the Super Nintendo has been getting a Mario Kart game. Still, a legion of fans that remain highly devoted to the original game on the SNES brings them back to an era before blue shells and blue spark drifting. That's why Mario Kart R was developed. It's like an expansion of the usual Mario Kart. It places Toad with Kirby as a playable character, adds a bunch of new tracks. It doesn't change the core of the game that much. It's almost like there was just a Super Nintendo sequel to Mario Kart that came out. And I'm a big fan of that. I fucking love Mario Kart. Number 9. Mario Adventure. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Mario Adventure is such a plain title, it almost sounds like it must be the name of an official Mario title that came out at some point. But no, it's just the name of one of the best, most complete, fully realized NES ROM hacks ever. This is a hack of SMB3. Completely new levels, new power-ups, ability to keep the boot power up throughout the whole game like a normal one. There are secrets in many of the levels. The ultimate goal of the game is not just to complete each stage, but to find the seven hidden keys, one in each world. Number 8. Legend of Zelda Randomizer. The old Zelda games are great, but so much of them has to do with exploration. Once you've found everything there is to find enough times, you end up with the whole thing memorized. And that's, you know, good for speedrunning. But if you hit that point, you just want to feel like, you know, you're playing a classic Zelda experience that feels fresh and new, try Randomizer. This changes the location of everything in the game. Treasures will be in new locations, dungeons in new places, enemy layouts will be different, even the dungeon maps themselves can be randomized. A randomizer is a separate program that allows you to randomize as much or as little of the game as you want. You can even start with the starting sword location randomized. It's like playing a bit of Diablo, but with Zelda. Number 7. Tecmo Super Bowl Updates. For many American football enthusiasts, Tecmo Super Bowl remains the gold standard in sports games. So much so, in fact, that a small team of modders work every year to keep the 25-year-old game up to date. They've already added teams like the Houston Texans, who didn't exist when the original game was released, and reworked the divisions from 6 to 8. The most impressive is that they do for free what Madden does for 60 bucks every year. Release an updated version of the game with current rosters and accurate attributes and even facial profiles for each player. Number 6. Dragon X Omega 2. Yes, there was a Dragon X Omega 1, but that was a hack of the original Dragon Warrior that didn't change all that much. Well, you know, Dragon Quest either one. Dragon X Omega 2, however, is a less of a ROM hack and more like an entirely new game built on the Final Fantasy engine. The world map and story are completely changed, as are most of the graphics. The most recognizable thing is the battle system, which now features a single hero instead of Final Fantasy's usual team of four. Number 5. Mega Man in the Mushroom Kingdom. Hacks that stick one character in another character's game aren't all that uncommon, but this one is a little bit more special. See, this isn't just a ROM hack that sticks Mega Man in a Mario game. This is a completely new set of stages. Mega Man goes through stages themed after SMB 1, 2, 3, and even Super Mario World, all with Mario-themed enemies and bosses. Mega Man's jump is buffed to make it easier for him to handle the Mario-style platforming as well. Number 4. Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes. Intended to fill in some of the gaps between Chrono Trigger and its sort of sequel, Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes is the only game on this list to have received an actual cease and desist order. It was built as a redesign of Chrono Trigger that picks up the story where the original left off and was supposed to run for about 35 hours of gameplay, longer even than the original game. Sadly, the cease and desist order halted the development of the game, but it is now available only in a mostly finished state. Number 3. A Super Metroid redesign. So Metroid went on a long hiatus between Super Metroid and Metroid Prime, but Super Metroid redesign is what everyone would have wanted from a Super Metroid 2. The map has been expanded, new areas added, new items, some physics changes, Samus falls faster than before, wall jumping is much more important. The difficulty is actually ramped up from the game it's based on. Level of polish is unusually high for an amateur ROM hack. It's considered one of the best mods for any game on the SNES. Number 2. The Legend of Zelda Outlands. It's well known that Zelda 2 isn't really the full-fledged Zelda remake that people wanted, but we're still kind of okay with. We wouldn't really get a new top-down Zelda game until Link to the Past on the SNES, but if we had gotten a sequel to the first game on the NES, it would have looked something like this. Outlands is a complete redesign of Zelda with a new tile set, new weapons, new enemies, a new area, new story. The classic Zelda gameplay is intact, and there's an entirely new experience to be had within that world. Number 1. Kaizo Mario World. Before Super Mario Maker, Mario ROM hacks were everywhere. Some ROM hacks were pretty good, some were awful, some became viral video sensations, and none were as infamous as Kaizo Mario World, also known as Asshole Mario, where you die a lot 
This is a hacker Super Mario World that requires frame perfect precision, lots of trial and error, and a full knowledge of the game's physics exploits and bugs. Basically you just have to watch someone play it to understand what the fuck to do. Super Mario Maker made the unfair Mario stage into a staple of the game, but Kaizo did it years earlier. It was basically the inspiration. You're welcome Nintendo. So guys, what's the craziest ROM hack you've ever heard of? Let us know in the comment section down below, we'll pin our favourite to the top. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support guys. That is it for this countdown, have a good one!